Leaders here in L.A., including Mayor Karen Bash, Sheriff Robert Luna, are not waiting for the storm to arrive. They are already coordinating an emergency response. HLA 5's Rachel Menatop joins us live from Seal Beach, where she spoke with local residents about the approaching storm and that sand berm so high, Rachel. Court and Sandy, that's exactly right. Crews constructed this extensive sand berm to protect the beachfront homes. Many people who live by the water have experienced flooding before, and they're bracing for this next round of weather. This is obviously an, an area that's particularly susceptible to flooding whenever we get a storm rolling in. I do have to say the water has been pretty calm today, pretty peaceful, but that's all supposed to change this weekend. Many people this morning loading up trucks filled with sandbags ahead of a potentially powerful storm. Angelica Garcia is one of them. She's trying to protect her home on Marina Drive, where it's not uncommon for her driveway to flood. What my main concern is that we might not be totally prepared because we haven't experienced this before. So that's what my concern is. I mean, we're doing the basics, but maybe there's other things that we don't know about. Hillary, now a Category 4 hurricane, is slowly moving north and is nearing Mexico's Baja Peninsula. The storm expected to weaken before it gets to Southern California, but even if it does, it could bring heavy rain, coastal flooding, gusty winds, high surf, and rip currents. Typically, the systems either break apart over the mountains of the Baja or they weaken due to cooler waters that's west of the Baja. This one might find that area where it can stay just close enough to the coast, bring uh, that moisture uh, and the winds on up into portions of the southwest U.S. We could see the most intense downpours Sunday night into Monday. The National Weather Service issued its first ever tropical storm watch for the San Bernardino Mountains, the coastal Coachella Valley, and San Diego County Mountains. L.A. County officials are hoping for more mild weather, but are coming up with contingency plans for all possibilities. We're not waiting for the storm to hit. We have already begun working 24 seven to be ahead of the curve and to be ready as soon as the storm reaches our shores. We will prepare for worst case scenario, uh, not only to assist uh, people here in our county, uh, but we're not, if we're not impacted or affected, we will become a resource to other neighboring uh, counties. On Seal Beach, crews have been working early morning hours to construct this sturdy sand berm barrier. Nevertheless, many business owners like Rosie Ritchie are worried about the unpredictable weather. Her restaurant is right next to the Seal Beach jetty. We're only eight months old and here we are facing another weather uh, problem. We've had this situation hit us three times already and it's concerning because we're brand new, new equipment, new everything. Mayor Bass said you can stay up to date on the storm's progression by following at Ready LA online. Her message today was pretty simple. Stay away from the coasts, the beaches, as emergency crews come in and get set up ahead of Sunday's storm surge. That's the very latest from Seal Beach. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. Thank you, Rachel. You can also stay with KHLA 5 as we continue to track Hurricane Hillary's path and stay up to date anytime by checking out our interactive radar. That is at KHLA.com slash Hillary.